Hello and welcome to File and Folder Management. When you're done with a project and you've saved everything to your thumb drive, you should have a project folder with all of the related files in it. So here is a Sound Slides project. There's the project file. It references all of these other files in order to work. So those all need to be there in order for this one project file to work. Similarly, when you're done with an Adobe Audition project, you'll wind up with a folder that looks like this. Tons of stuff. And you'll have one project file, this, that needs all of these other files to be in this project folder in order to work. So, when you're all done with the project and you've saved it correctly to your thumb drive, you need to move the whole project folder over to the class folder. The class folder, of course, uh, is a gigantic shared space in outer space, if you want to think of it that way. So, to connect to it, we'll double click the connect to class folder icon. It's the one that looks like a globe with a drawer coming out of it. You'll be prompted to enter your ePanther password, and you'll see a list of the JAMS classes in which you are enrolled. Uh, I see probably more than you do, so I'm just going to connect to this class, and you'll see a folder with a bunch of other folders in it. These are other people's class folders. And you'll also see a drive like this on your desktop. It will always be your course number followed by the section number. If you see your login name here, and it looks like this, but it says, you know, in my case it would be JJ Loomis. If you see that, that means you've connected to Panther File. We do not want to use Panther File for this. Panther File is something different. I'm not even going to talk about it in this video. So we want to connect to the class folder, find your own folder, open it up, and you'll probably see folders with the same name of folders that you have on your thumb drive. Now to turn a project in, you're just going to select the version that's on your thumb drive from the root or main area of your thumb drive or wherever you keep these folders. You'll select the project folder and click and drag it down here. You want to click and drag it down here. You don't want to accidentally drag it into another folder. And you should see this warning and you'll click replace all. And it will replace the previous version of the folder that was there. You can do this with any project folder you have. Uh, even if, uh, in this case, I have a, a new one on my thumb drive, I need to drop it into my class folder. I just click and drag it down here. And in this case, because I'm not replacing anything, uh, I'm not, I won't be prompted with that replace dialog box. But now I can go into these folders on my class folder. All of that same stuff is in there. So I have the project file and all the other necessary files. Of course, I'll never work on a project from the class folder because that's asking for trouble. If the internet connection gets dropped or stalls for even like a half a second, you'll lose all of your work. So you always work on your projects from your thumb drive save it to your thumb drive, find the main project folder for your project and then just click and drag it over to your class folder and then hit replace. You can replace it as many times as you want. Uh, so when you make updates, same process. Just make sure you've saved your project and then you click and drag it over here to the class folder. Hit replace. So that is file and folder management.